Or I had that ghost with me. Color Dungeon. So this was something that was added in the, 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 the Game Boy Color version, uh, Link's Awakening DX. So their role was a little bit different. They actually made sure that you were playing off the Game Boy Color. They'll ask you what color uh, shirt they were wearing. And if you got it right, they'll move it out of the way. And I've checked this. Even if you knew which one had the red shirt and which one had the blue shirt, uh, it would not work if you're playing on a standard uh, Game Boy. It had to be on the color. But overall, this is an optional dungeon, but it's still recommended to do. that I was in the thousands but I like this dungeon because it, it reminisces from the original um, Zelda thing or from the original uh, dungeon thing from the first game So I'm going to point out that they actually incorporated shapes into this dungeon. For those who are colorblind, you can still tell the color of that or match up the... Uh, color coordinated spots. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Just ignore me. Watch the game. That's what people come up, come on Twitch to do, right? They, they're here to watch the game, not listen to the people. Well, he was a goner. I want to go this way first before I go up through that locked door. Another easy puzzle. But I it's not going to last long. This way. Okay. I guess I'm going to be using that.
There we go. Got him. He could be a little bit of a pain in the neck. But we'll go ahead and just capture this fairy. chest and we found the nightmare key so time to head all the way back no point in doing that puzzle again There we go, and we have this guy. Oh, yeah. There we go. I think I'm gonna take the fairy on this one. There we go. Um, yeah, I need to go up first. Chess, and I think this one is the map. Yes. There we go. Now we can see the the whole uh, dungeon. They made them a little bit tougher in this before they weren't that aggressive. Which isn't too bad. Of course, I'm not going to get any health. Now, this puzzle. So in, folks. This is going to take a little while. I've already had reset it so I'm not too fond of this puzzle <laughs> Watch someone else do this before, and I would get it instantly of like, oh yeah, it's this way. And but whenever I'm doing it, no, nope, you can forget that.
go ahead and try and get some more health. If uh, the pots will give me anything. Hey, there's a fairy. There we go. Go ahead. Catch that one. But I'm not going to get any more hearts, so... This is safe. I'm safe. Hard hit beetle. He lies. He is not safe. Step back. Take your time. Just get in there and wail at him. Oh, and they definitely did make this a little bit harder than the DX version. DX version, he, he didn't do anything. He didn't shoot anything at you, he just ran around. But he got faster. But we made it to the end. this far. I will give you the power of color. If you want offense, choose red. If you want defense, choose blue. That's right. So we get our choice between the two different ma uh, males. So again, red will give us more, will double our power. Uh, blue will double our defense. These do stack with uh, the drops, so if we ha have the red mill and we get a piece of power, it is uh, four times as strong. Yeah. Um, same with the blue, uh, blue mill, uh, if we pick up an acorn, and of course if we have uh, one and we pick up the other or it will essentially give us the the times two on both so I'm gonna go with the blue male um, so when I played the DX version I always choose red because I always like the having the extra strength this one I've learned that <laughs> You def definitely want more defense, because there are some situations where, oh boy. So having more defense is good for early part of the game, and I will probably switch to red later. Oh uh, yes, there was this, and I don't remember what this was. I think this was, yeah, there's a piece of heart here. Um, I think this is where you fall into, uh, if you fell into a hole up, up top, but you can't do anything that way, but let's head into the shop. Buy our bow. <laughs> and we can actually buy chamber stones for 1280 rupees. Yeah, it's going to be expensive. Also, I want to mention that I was correct on my assumption of what the uh, uh, Dark Link. Uh, bonus was uh, it makes a it makes a dark link chase after you
And we got a fishing hook, which you would think would go up here. But he's not the guy to give it to. Uh, also, I need to double check to see if there was anything else with uh, that fisherman. I don't think there is, but... Uh, I want to... Yeah, I want to go here. Also, she beat us here. Alright, so... Now we go into this. Hey. Oh, there's a movie over there. First, we're going to go over here and... Alright, Mr. Fisherman, what did you get? <laughs> Necklace. Yay. <laughs> so, necklace. We can actually give to the mermaid. And she will give us a scale. Which I think as the necklace was another uh, censorship. But I think it was something else. I don't remember. Yeah, Nintendo was pretty risky in some of their stuff. But we have the scale now, and now that I think about it, I need to go to the other side. Right? That's not what I want. No, it's I can't do it uh, now anyways. So it don't matter. Uh, ow. I said something, okay. Uh, I mean, it doesn't matter. I wanted to get to... I wanted to get to here anyways, because I think this was where that heart piece was. Yes. Also, I got an heart container uh, from that last heart piece. I didn't, I didn't make any comment on it, but yeah, that, that happened. Uh, two more uh, shells to get 25. I could do some searching, but I think I'm going to hold off. It's, I find that interesting that it keeps the waterfall in the map. But 
now we can actually go here. See the little bubbles floating up. That's your indication indication that you can swim down there. We can get to this now.